in Seattle. Police responding to a shooting overnight in the occupied zone, the country known as CHOP, formerly known as CHAZ. This comes as the city's police union, get this, is expelled from the area's labor council, citing a failure to, quote, dismantle racism in their institution and society at large. President of the Seattle Police Officers Guild, Mike Solon, joins us now with the latest. Mike, uh, lots to chew on here. Well, let's start with what we know now about what happened inside CHOP. I, I, we're getting reports coming in of an incident there. What do you know? Well, Pete, thanks for having me on again. And as you were aware, violence has now besieged the area known as CHOP, and it is no longer the summer of love. It's a summer of chaos. And early this morning, that violence was raw and real, where one of our community members lost their life, and police are still not allowed into that area, and were prevented to providing that police service to the area to locate victims and or render aid. Mike, Very so you're, troubling so you're saying on. we've got one person killed, uh, potentially others injured. We don't know. We don't know what the incident was. But the Seattle Police Department cannot go in and has not confirmed. That is correct. How can that stand in America? It can't stand in America. And this is a direct result of city leadership, elected officials failing the reasonable community of Seattle to enforce the rule of law. And this just isn't the area occupied in a six block zone where police are still forbidden and still don't have their East Precinct. This is now impacting our entire city. And last night as well, the flagship precinct, the West Precinct downtown was defaced with anti-police graffiti. And again, we're left wondering what's next. And now our elected officials have removed our ability to have less lethal chemical munitions that are effective in us for us to disperse uh, unruly, violent crowds uh, to protect those police facilities, let alone ourselves. So we're in a very, very troubling time in Seattle. And it's deeply concerning that everybody across this country needs to be aware of what's going on in Seattle. What do you know about what does come next? They want less cops, uh, less equipment, less non-lethal equipment, yet at some point this occupied zone has to end, right? Well, you're going to have to have the political backbone to finally enforce the rule of law, because if this continues to spiral down, which we saw early this morning yeah. with a homicide, um, I don't see what the remedy is. So we need leadership now more than ever. And I find it ironic that the same public officials that are uh, creating these uh, decisions that put everybody's uh, public safety at risk are now calling on for defunding the police. Yeah. And those two aren't compatible. You can't have defunding the police and better police services uh, because the first thing to go, as you and I both know, Pete, is training. Yep. And if you remove the training budget, you remove quality police service. And we know that separating good cops from bad is all about training. Bingo. Mike, you're spot on. I got to ask you about this, though. The, the Seattle Police Officers Guild is the police union for the Seattle Police Department. Yet the group of unions in Seattle has now kicked you out of the union group. Why? Well, they wanted us to say that we are a racist institution, and that's completely uh, an egregious attempt for political pandering. And what I think this is, is an opportunity for us to connect with the other reasonable labor organizations that encompass that labor council so we can all come together and highlight the unreasonable activism that has now besieged uh, Seattle. Political uh, discourse here is falling. And now we have public safety issues that are impacting everybody. And I think this is an opportunity for us to reach the reasonable crowd. And it smacks of hypocrisy. It's discriminatory because, as you and I both know, Pete, mm -hmm. our membership are a wonderfully diverse group of people that resemble Seattle's of values. Course. Of course, Mike. But if you want to be a part of the discourse, just go ahead and admit you're racist right now, and then everything will be fine. Yeah, that's how they look yeah, at the That's world. what they want. That's and uh, you can't tell me that just is not hypocritical. Unbelievable. It's of amazing. course it is. It's discriminatory, it's racist, and it's hypocritical. Uh, Mike Solon, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Hey, Good Pete, luck. thank you for highlighting this serious issue. You got it. Very much so.